Hey everyone, here's Yoro again. So now I'm gonna show you some advanced waiting stuff because that's just something you need. So if you remember at the end of the video where I showed the Leona skin in game, you could see that some stretching happened here and like on the arm or something. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that easily and how to find what's wrong, first of all. So I know that the sword is stretching, so I'm just gonna select the sword and move it. Then you can see this part is not attached to the sword, which is bad. And then, what's on the shoulder? As you can see, something else doesn't really fit there, which I'm gonna have to fix. And you can just do that everywhere if you don't know where the problem is and everything. So you can just stretch your model as far as you want and as crazy as you want. Because you can just reset everything again. So now you want to select the model and go to... Uh, paint skin weights again so I guess this is gonna be here yeah because it was painted to somewhere on the arm which it shouldn't be and now I'm just gonna fix the sword as well because I forgot to paint the heart piece thingy now I only have to come on Come on. <laughs> ah, funny. So. And now you just want to go back to bind pose. Then another thing is if you realize that some animations stretch really weirdly. For example on the hands. Not on this skin though. But like, yeah. There's an easy way to... Okay, wait. It's because you... As you can see, you can't change the placement of the bones, like the default placement anymore. So you will have to do it another way. You go to skin, and then move skin joints. Make sure that you're in object, like, in object selection though. So then you can just simply click on a bone, just move it wherever you want, after it's already bound. N and as you can see, nothing moves together with it. But that's just an easy fix. You will probably need that sometimes on like knees or le or finger bones and stuff. So yeah, that's just a handy tool to know about. So and last of all, I'm gonna show you how to do smooth weighting, which uh, you need if you, for example, want hair to a animate smoothly. So I'm just gonna start on the hair actually, but I'll start on the head. Now you want to set your paint operation from replace to smooth. As you can see, you won't be able to give a value here anymore. So now you can just paint, and as you can see, if you set this to use color ramp, it's going to be a different color than white. Which means that it has a lower value than one. Which means that it's like less attached to only one thing. And you always want to make sure that you paint from a white area downwards because you can r run into really heavy problems easily doing that method because for example as you can see as a when I paint over white you immediately get an error message so you should try to always avoid that because one those verticals those dots one dot can only be influenced by four different influences so like for example the head and four hair pieces now if it has more, it's not gonna export. You're gonna run into problems and you're gonna have to fix them somehow, which can be a bit tedious sometimes. So just pay attention and if you see something light up down here, just undo. So yeah. What I like to do is always go so far down until the next part attaches, so the next part is completely colorful as well. Oops. That's the wrong one. Okay. Now I'm just gonna paint here again. It's just gonna make it anim animate more smoothly and nicely so it actually has some f hair flowy properties. It's actually like not that big of a deal in my opinion. So if you now would turn that off it would just look like less white. 
grayish and then just fade into black. But it's easier to see with the color ramp. And if you actually have a value less than one, you can just paint up if you want. But yeah, you're not going to run into errors this way. But Note that with the smooth weighting tool you can't start newly on an unpainted area, so I couldn't just paint here on the bow. I have to like put some value of one or less there to just start painting. And that's why you want to merge everything in the first place, so because you can't go over the edges with it. So you can't smooth weight non-merged models perfectly. You can't perfectly perfect do it perfectly anyway, but yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. And now to the front cape thingy, majingy. Just like this should move properly too. The back cape's gonna be real fun, I'm gonna tell you. Now I'm inside her leg. Charming. Oh wait, I didn't actually want to go fully down. Oh. And you can just set the value to zero if you want just to delete parts. But don't do that again on fully white parts. You can't just delete white parts because you're gonna run into an error again. You will just have to paint them to another part of the model. If you don't want any errors, which nobody wants, trust me. Oh. Okay, never mind. I forgot to do the bottom part. Now I'm just gonna apply some value one weight painting here again so I can smooth it out after that. Always keep in mind that the red ones are really high and the blue ones are basically really low. It can even go to like 0 0.111 or something. If you want to check how much it actually is, you have to can go on the tool thingy there. It's actually 0 0.0.8, so it's already really small. So, now to the cape. There you will have actually have to pay attention so you don't paint too many influences onto a vertical. Oops, wrong tool. So I'm just gonna go down here on the side of it. So I don't overlap too much. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, but whatever. Okay. And then the bottom part here, just smooth it a bit up and to the side maybe. And then I'm gonna do the left side. Actually I could smooth it up a bit to the top here. Just so it flows better again. And now I'm going to do the middle part, which is around here.
No, okay, now I'm just gonna hope that it exports actually. Whoa, we did. Nice. Okay, now I'm just gonna smooth smooth up the hands as well a bit because it looks kinda weird because of the mittens or gloves, whatever. I don't know. I mean, this step is just optional, but it gives your custom skins a better quality, simply. So you actually put a lot of effort into them, making sure they animate properly and look good in-game. Okay, no mind. Bridge for a second. Plus it sometimes can help to fix weird looking animations. Cause like shoulders are always a hard part kinda as well. So if they just look completely weird just put uh, slap some smooth weights onto there and it's gonna look better immediately, trust me. Well okay. Um, let's see. Okay, still exports nice. So now I'm just gonna get the skin in game actually. This time we actually understood the other custom skins so we, we won't run into any problems right now. And I finished the Leona textures off screen because it just took ages and 10 thousand different tries to get what I wanted. But now it actually looks really decent anymore. Doesn't have a loading screen yet though. Because I like to do my loading screens with Ultimate Unwrap 3D Pro, so I have to weight them properly first, the models. My leaks taking ages again, as always. And no more stretching. I think I broke a nail. Good thing it was some weird, weird glow on there right now. It's just a home guard animation. Next time, try to leave a dead summer. Mm. So yeah. Now the 
skirt thingy animates better. Everything. Mm. Yeah. So I guess that concludes this tutorial as well for the advanced waiting stuff. So I hope you found it helpful and see you soon.